Hey, since one year, back with a new bash break for Procreate. And this time it is all about colors and textures. To give you a quick overview on this, I worked on 42 brushes. Most of them are available with color dynamics and without, so 69 in total, sorted into 8 different categories. I also worked on a bunch of worksheets for these different categories. As well as a tips and tricks manual with all you need to know about this brush pack and some yeah, quick tips on how to get the most out of these brushes and a short introduction on how to work with colors. And last but not least I threw in some backgrounds as a little bonus to give it that final touch. Alright, so far to the quick overview. Let's jump into the brushes. I will not showcase every single brush <laughs> since this would uh, take a bit longer and rather picking a few of each category. The pack starts with the smooth brushes. This is a brush category with 7 brushes and they all have a smudge like texture to it. Kicking it off with the felt smooth. Um, there's a brush with a felt tip and it changes the color with each stroke you make and depending on the pressure you apply. These color dynamics actually apply to most of the brushes of this pack. Next up we have the Paint Smooth. This is a brush inspired by actual paint strokes and similar to the previous shown brush it adds more color the more pressure you apply. Skipping a brush we have the Broad Smooth. As for the other two brushes it also changes the color with every stroke and the pressure and it has this fading like texture inside of it. Which is pretty dope if you ask me. Alright, so far to the smooth brush category, let's skip ahead to the fade brushes. They are actually pretty similar to the previous shown brushes, um, but as the name already told you, they kind of fade. Another cool feature of these brushes is that they pull the previous stroke you made a little bit with them, and as well drag other colors into new strokes. This brush category features a broad brush as well as a round one. Moving on to our next category, we have the funky brushes. They are less about textures than about the shapes and the funky letter forms you can create with them. First one is the nylon heart, based on the shape and texture of a nylon brush pen. These brushes have a lot of details around them and while applying less pressure you can get some textures on them as well. Skipping a few brushes, we have the broad glow. It's uh, pretty similar to the previous shown brush, um, but it has a broad tip and a little halo around it, which looks cool, especially if you are overlaying a few different strokes in a few different colors. And on to our next category, the texture brushes. They are building up on these funky brushes I just showed you. We are kicking this category off with the red paint brushes. They come with a round tip and a fade tip. They have these kind of lines inside and a rough outline creating this interesting texture. The next brush is the round lines. This brush has uh, these kind of lines going through the stroke and it gets lighter with less pressure. It looks great if you're making your letters in one stroke to keep these lines going all the way through. Following this brush is the nylon text and the broad text similar to the nylon heart and the broad glow you saw earlier in the funky brush category. This brush comes with a much harder and rougher texture. The less pressure you apply, the more texture you're gonna get. These kind of brushes especially work great when you are going over your stroke with a different color or when you're using these color brushes to add a colorful texture to your strokes. On to the next category, the dry brushes. This is something I'm, I'm really excited about and it's something I really wanted to have in this pack. It's inspired by dry paint strokes and I spent days trying to figure out how to get this texture into Procreate. Um, yeah, I'm glad that I come close to it in the end. The first brush of this category is the paint brush dry. The less pressure you apply, the rougher the texture gets. This brush works great if you go over it with a few different colors or if you're using it to actually paint. The next brush out of this category is the paint brush hard. Building up on the previous brush, this one has a much harder texture. And as I already mentioned, go over it a couple of times with a few different colors to get the most out of these brushes.
The next brush is building up on this texture, but it's also pressure sensitive. Following this brush comes the paint round raw. And as the two previous shown brushes, this one has a round tip and this one holds more paint, aka it's more opaque. You get a rougher texture by applying less pressure. To get the most out of this brush, I would recommend making your strokes one by one and don't make too many curved like strokes to keep this rough look. The last two brushes out of this category are a bit more direct and have a less rough texture. You can bring out the best potential of these brushes by applying pressure in the beginning of your stroke and going down with the pressure in a fast movement, so it looks like the paint is kind of fading out at the end. And as already mentioned, you can create beautiful textures by going over it with a few different colors. Our next brush category is featuring watercolor themed brushes. The first two brushes are pretty similar, one has a round tip and the other one has a broad tip. To get it lighter, aka add more water to your brush, just lower your pressure on your Apple Pencil. These kind of brushes are great for making gradients. Simply pick a new color and go over your stroke or letter. Start by applying pressure and reduce it while you go up or down your stroke to get a smooth gradient. And to top this all off, you can use the splatter brush to give it that final touch. Next up we have the juicy brush. I actually made this brush like a year ago and I'm so glad to finally found a pack to throw it in. It's a liquid-like brush that expands and gets bigger the more you write until it reaches a certain size. This one is definitely a fun brush to work with and to get the most potential out of it, I try to apply less pressure and play with the contrast within your strokes and letters. The last brush category we are looking into before checking out the extra brushes are the shark brushes. <laughs> I mean what are color brushes without some shark brushes, right? The shark marker brush is a simple shark light brush that you can spice up using the three extra shark brushes like the shark dust or the shark crumbs. Man, that is a lot of shark. <laughs> Alright, finishing this pack off, we have the extra brushes to give your piece the final touch. Kicking these off with three different watery drip brushes. A wash brush that washes away the stroke. I like to use this one on fading parts when I use um, the fade brushes for example. Next up we have the sparkle brush. It's a spray like texture with a lot of contrast. Following up on that is a spray like brush with less texture. Um, looks also great if you ride with it. Next up we have a stable brush. That's kind of a weird brush but I like it. It has this pointed fading texture to it which I like to use on overlays on my letters. And last but not least, the sharp brush for some sharp details and the classic Schlummer pencil <laughs> for some watery details. Yeah, that's already it with the walkthrough. I hope this could give you a good insight on what is inside this pack and how you can use these brushes. Yeah, I'm excited to hear your feedback and feel free to hit me up if you have any further questions on this. Thanks for watching and have a good one.